most of the work I do in Uganda is actually to do surveillance for diseases. I work on quite a number of emerging viral infections. My department looks at all other diseases that are of a viral nature other than HIV AIDS. So because of that, there is a very big span of infections that are in the country. And of course, these are very challenging. Like everybody knows, Uganda is in an area that is referred to as a hotspot for uh, emerging viral infections. And uh, the challenges are very big. The challenges, however, are big, but the prospects are also very good being a place where it is good to have um, a lot of research work to be carried out makes us receive quite um, a number of collaborations which allow us to go into the field to collect samples, test them, and be able to identify infections, some of which are new, some of which are old, and uh, of course, allow us to map out diseases which might be able to cause serious outbreaks, uh, not only for Ugandans, but also for the whole world, now that, uh, well, the whole world now is a global village. Yes. The opportunities are enormous because um, Many people who are doing research work on viruses actually don't end up getting into the field. Uganda is an area which is right in the field where these diseases emerge. So we can have people who can come and really collect uh, specimens, do work in the field, and be able to really see uh, these uh, interactions of uh, animals and humans and diseases and vectors and hosts in the field and be able to do, um, uh, be able to determine how this can be stopped. Many people that are working in developed countries actually work on small specimens which are sent to them and they do a lot of work on these specimens but don't actually know how these um, uh, diseases, how these pathogens interact in the ecosystems where they are. So the opportunities are enormous for that kind of work. And of course, the labs are there to do uh, studies even in these uh, remote areas. Looking at how these diseases are in the field, one of the things that we really have to do is to see how we can solve these problems in the areas where they emerge. So one magic thing that probably one can do is to be able to diagnose them as quickly as possible. So to be able to set up technologies for diagnosis, labs which are able to handle these in the field, train personnel who can handle them, and have collaborations with other institutions where these could be studied.